Hello everyone, I'm Yash Ambekar. I'm a co-founder and working as CTO of Virtual Farm. And let me go through a product uh, called Farm Chief that is a computer vision based farming status and recommendation system that we introduce in the Virtual Farm. So as you have known about the ML AI solutions that are being developed right now in the different countries and different modern technologies, the each and every one trying to develop a few things on the farming and trying to more improvise the farming culture and get uh, the farmer be much more um, intro, like connected with the farm and get a more detail of the farm. But as you know, there are the critical AI algorithms and system that are being developed from the bigger industries and that are being patented and like it's like fully structured and fully um, commercialized based thing. So not the small farmer would be able to get access to these kind of systems. So what our solution provides like that makes farm status and recommended system easier to each and every farmer and the developer community who need to integrate these things in their product also. So let me go through the algorithmic flow of the system like what we are working on. It's like computer-based vision system, like compatible with smartphone in which each and every one person, like each and every small farmer to the bigger farmer has its own phone and mobile system and would be able to access this thing. The system is like a small integration of uh, crop data sets, like each and every different type of crops, which has a different categories. So they are being developed using TensorFlow Light model, which has been um, created by Google. And it is easily integrated by Android Studio to a mobile application where most of 70% of the population would say more than 70% of the population would be able to access these things and work on their phone. So this model is designed as per that the farmer just has to capture the image of their farm, the like close image of the farm. This image then directly uploaded to the system. Then, then this image will be recognized by the system and these details and analysis process are being done on the system. Then there are a few details like what that image says according to the uh, trained model, it will result to a uh, few data on that. Then our system will like uh, give a recommendation on what kind of um, prediction has been done on that image. Like if image is like pest infected, what uh, things a farmer need to do while there is a pest in his farm. If it is disease infected, so what a farmer need to do in that case, if there are nutrient deficiency, what farmer would do in that cases. So they're like different flows of recommendations and workflows and go through to the farmers over there. And we will like, um, this system has already been created under virtual farm for like vertical farm systems. Like we're currently also developing and improving our crop data set and algorithm right now. So why propose this system to the SNET? Like there are mainly boom in the farming system, like introducing AI in that, but there is no uh, many AI application on the SNET right now, like integrating AI and making it available to each and every developer. Like if we um, introduce this kind of system, like open by GPL, like we open source this system, each and every uh, new developers, like they have new ideas, they would be able to integrate the system in their own personal project. So we can do those things using SNET community. So uh, there's a like small snapshot of this in our product, like the Android based application. Like first thing you can see, there's an API that gives uh, the One detail of more. the, okay. But that give the detail of the farm, what the actual um, things are going on, what the sunrise time and those things. The second image gives the prediction of the image, like what um, issues are there. And third image gives the results, like what things need to be done on the results. And if these are the tech stack, like working on the crop data set, TensorFlow model, integrating with AI and uh, integrating the Android Studio to create a mobile application. So we have distributed uh, our fundings and like hosting services, customizing this application for the new users and customizing this application for the different languages and working on the day of and project management. All right, so thank you. I will you. hand up with this slide. I'm open for the questions right now. Okay, you can stop sharing. Okay, John Holling, sorry. Yeah, I'm I'm trying out the, the recognition surface uh, of uh, Zoom, which is new to me, but <laughs> look, there it is. Um, a very interesting uh, uh, idea. I also like the fact that you already have proven technology in an uh, 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 protected uh, environment. I would love to see a whole suite of agri related services on our platform would really love that 
Um, one question I can think of right now, you're now doing uh, uh, machine learning and so on on a very protected environment. But if you use this uh, outside, it will make a lot of difference if it is Norway or Ethiopia or the US and if it's high or low. So how will your machine learning system uh, take uh, all those variables into account? Okay, so for current current status, like as you also know, there's very less data has been developed right now. If you go on the Kegel or other websites, like to gather data, there's very less kind of data and you can't train the perfect model according to that. But as we grow on, like in the future and would be able to integrate this now, uh, categorize wise, like if I can, uh, there are seasons for the each and every countries like have different kind of seasons. So we can categorize as per that, like which uh, on which location a farmer is being using. And we can categorize according to that. And we have to like manually also my and my teams, I'm an Indian person. So I go on the different like areas by myself and capture the images by myself, like taking camera and going over there, creating the data set of 400 images and trying to train the model as per that. So we have to distribute the system according to the areas and regions in the further like expanding this project to the different state and countries. So by that procedure, we can like, uh, go on the much more accurate part of each and every areas. All right. Thanks a lot. See you. Thank you. All right.